I've got a story and without even reading it, I can tell I have X's and Y's in the story and X's and Y's in the choices. So my guess is this is gonna be an arithmetize, or at least there's some X's in the choices, but this is gonna be arithmetize where I'm gonna to try to think about this without these variables. I'm gonna see if I can make a number up. So let's, let's see if I'm right. A landscaper uses a hose that puts 88 X ounces of water in a bucket in five Y minutes. Which expression represents the number of ounces of water the hose puts in the bucket in nine Y minutes at this rate? Yeah, I mean, it's a ratios and I could do them by keeping the the, num the letters around, but why bother? Let's just make X one and kind of glancing at the choices. These all look like different numbers. I don't know if one is going to work, but it's certainly easy to start with. And then uh, let's make Y one as well, I guess, right? So that's 88 ounces in five minutes and they want to know how many ounces and let's not do X, let's do A ounces in uh, nine minutes. Okay, I don't know, cross multiply and divide, or even, we don't even need to cross multiply, right? 88 divided by five times nine. Let's see what we get, regular calculator. 88 times nine divided by five is 158.4. So that is the number of ounces Let's see if something gives me that, right? What am I doing? I'm putting X as one into all of these. So this is just nine over 440. So nine divided by 440 is 0.02, not 158. 440 divided by nine is 48. No, 48.9, no, and this is, what did I say, 0.02 or something? Uh, so five divided by 792, that's not gonna work. That's 0.006. And 792 divided by 5 is 158.4. Done. That's it. So could you have done this without that, right? Yes, because, I mean, at the end of the day, 88 times 9 is 792. So it makes sense that I would have 792 on the top divided by 5 on the bottom. I get it logically, but I don't want to have to think about it logically after, like during the process. I'm fine with afterwards, but during the process, I just want to do a basic ratio, you know, like I learned in like fourth grade. So that's the point of arithmetize is you've learned more math since fourth grade. You have learned how to do algebra. You've learned how to represent things with variables and complex equations. But wasn't fourth grade easier than what you're doing now, right? Wasn't fourth grade easier than what's on the SAT? So what arithmetize allows us to do is go back to fourth grade for like a little second and just get a little bit easier of a question. So why not? Why not do it? That's my mentality always is I want to get the answer it with the least amount of work possible. And there's certain places where you can't cut out the work. Notice that I wrote out the whole thing, right? That part I wouldn't cut out. I would write out the ratio. I'd write it out so I make sure I'm multiplying the right things because I know if I set this up wrong or think about it wrong in my head, one of these other answers is going to be what I get and I'll get it wrong without even realizing. So it takes, you got to take the time to write it out, but Everything else is just me being like, why do algebra when I can avoid it completely? Arithmetize when you can.